back to another adventure. We're heading out to Chichester State Forest this weekend for a camp and a bit of bush cooking and chase a few, um, uh, they're not crawchies, they're like spiny craze. Got the dogs along for the ride and a couple of mates and yeah. Looking forward to a really good weekend. We haven't been to this campsite. We've been there before but not since COVID. So we are super keen to get back there. It's one of my favourite campsites we've ever been to, namely because I've never seen a green ant there. And like I would rather face off with a red belly black snake than a green ant. We've seen a couple of those there. We have seen a couple of the red bellies there, but no green ants, which is important. But follow along, check it out, watch us have some fun. You. Yeah. Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna Got some wood for the night, honey? Yep, a bit of firewood Just See a little bit See it it's pretty wet When you live with a pyro it's not even that much. <laughs> but we're all set up. We did get absolutely poured on while we were setting up. We've got this is us. A nice camper. We're only here for two days, but you know, nothing like a good preparedness. And then opposite to us was camping with friends of ours who are much better at the whole you don't need to pack everything in the kitchen cupboard for a weekend away. So they're all set up. They've taken our dogs for a walk. So they're probably being traumatized as we'll speak while Joel sets the fire up. But yeah, this is this is day one. All set up. About to get the fire going and kick back. It's never the easiest to start with wet wood, is it honey? No. Never fun. But we should get okay. We've got a fair bit of little stuff and we've got fire lighters, so. Tom Saber with the little chicken. This uh, corner is called Old Jack's Corner. Old Jack. Yeah. Well, I hope Old Jack doesn't mind. From 1932 until 1917. Uh, 2017. Oh, oh wow. wow. Mm. It's all right. Yeah. Thanks, Old Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Triggy, you're just having a miserable time, buddy. Yeah? You got your dinosaur coat, on, dinosaur coat on and you're ready to go home. It's been pretty miserable since we got here. It's rained non-stop and Triggy's ready to go home. Rox, on the other hand, is ready for another solid week. Aren't you, baby? I was worried you blow my reputation But I figured it's not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver Your yeah. hands on myself I keep pulling the trigger, alright This very finger for people like them Oh, no, no When I lay on my mind I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown Merle and high I don't think you guys can see it, but there's a possum over there. Oh, you need to feel the LED. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Just having a little explore of the different places. So we are currently at the Frying Pan Creek Camping Ground. We'll give you a bit of a show a little bit later around. We've been to Chaco State Forest before, haven't we, honey? Yep. But we normally stay at Kurawang Camps. That's a, in Chaco State Forest, there are four free campsites. There's Telegary, Frying Pan Creek, which is the one we're at this weekend, Coachwood, and Kurawang. And Kurawang is the one that we normally would stay at, but it is full drive access only. And since we're with our friends who are not getting their van <laughs> under the four-wheel drive side, we've um, tried our new campsite. I think on our own we definitely still go back to Kurawang. Yeah, road. yeah. If you have a four-wheel drive... Oh, it's not too bad, but... No, it's, it's a beautiful campsite, don't get me wrong, but if you have a four-wheel drive, it's it's better to take advantage of the, the four-wheel drive access one. It's currently first week of February, so we bought like swimmers, beach towels, whole nine yards, I don't think we've topped about 20 degrees since we got here. No. We've had about, they've had about 200 mil of rain in the last week because yeah. cold coffee. Yeah, normally this would be absolutely crystal clear, perfect swimming. But... Definitely still swimming it if it was warm enough, but it's not really warm enough at the moment. Maybe later. Yeah. So, yeah. This is our normal campsite. The four wheel drive access only. You can see, Joe will come back across in a minute and show you why they call it four wheel drive access only. Although this is the deepest we've ever seen this person. So it is not normally this bad.
little possum house. Oh, attack dogs. Oh, attack dogs! Woo! What are you doing? I'm doing? Here we go, chase an eel. Big hook, big sinker. Chunk of steak. Throw her in. See what we come up with. Himself if he does that. No, never. Now put my shoe. I'm trying to catch an ale now guys. It's got a hand line, sinker hook, 60 pound line so they can't bite you off. And you just chuck it out in the creek and they should come along and eat it. Eels outsmarted you, babe. A little bit. Oh, I don't want to go in. Don't go in. Hi, Steve. Thank you, Nick and Tom. Got a few of it at home. How do you think, Callum? It's going to hurt himself. <laughs> We're taking bets. <laughs> Here, though. Am I going to snap my head on a rock? Oh, I wouldn't use the swing that time. Walking? Yeah, walking. <laughs> I can't I'll remember. Hang on, I'll go back and get the first aid kit. I think it's pretty deep there, but I'm not willing to risk your life on it. Go on. Go on. Yeah. I think that tree's forced like that. You're gonna be getting close to the end of it, so watch out you don't get bitten. Feel him. Can you? Yeah. If you can somehow get him out, I can fight him from here. Done it, he's really done. Really fucking. You did that? Yeah. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Big old eel. Oh man, it's mm. pulling hard. Huh? Pulling pretty hard. Yeah. It's probably a good one there. I want to get, like, I'm putting so much tension on that line. I'll get a freaking circle hook in my arm. I think it'll be like you'll have it down so if it snaps, you'll have the hook. Ah, uh -huh, okay. We hope. Yeah, just jump in and go toe to toe with you. <laughs> Maybe I should get in and just pull every line down with your hand and if I get bitten, I'll get bitten. I'll stitch you up, babe, I oh, promise. <laughs> it's not too bad once you get used to it. Just send it, babe. The breast is a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Got the wrong shorts on, but that's alright. The mask up. So I bought your extra pairs anticipating stupidity. How deep was it when you first put your foot in? Quite deep. <laughs> like above knee. Good luck, honey. Thanks. Okay. What do you think, March? Will we take the Colorado home and leave them here? <laughs> It'll take a while for sure. No. And it's mm. probably just a brand new fish. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Well, definitely an eel. So, yeah. You know, a slug sized eel. <laughs> Might have to make early decisions for the real food now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glad we're not relying on bush tucker today. <laughs> Come on, honey, I thought you were a big bad fisherman. Eels have big fucking teeth, mate. It's got
How you going, hon? More importantly, what the fuck are you doing? Snapping it. He's probably loose now, so he's just fuck it. <laughs> he's angry. <laughs> Bye, girl. <laughs> Swim, honey. Yeah, Let's wrap around this stick, so. Help me! <laughs> nice. That's a nail. He's wrong, but he's all right. It's an ugly creature, eh? <laughs> Snakes in the water. Yeah. He wants water. Water, 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 go on. That's real good for it. We camped right on the bank of the creek. And this is the sound that we've been hearing the entire time we've been here. It's been really lovely. What's for dinner, honey? <laughs> uh, chook and veggies. So we've got the camp oven on. Yep. Nice little fire going. The chook's on. Chook's in. And veggies will go on soon once the chook's nearly done. I'm sure for those of you that have already seen our Nundle episode, you know that Joel's camp Marriage. oven spuds. Marriage relies on this. Yeah, a good camp oven spud, spud is like our vow renewal. So we'll see how he goes. You dinosaur boy, how's it going? Hey? How's it going, Triggy? We've been here now better than 24 hours and about five minutes ago was the first time Trigger's laid in the dirt. He's coming along. Hey buddy. Triggy's not a camping dog, are you? He's like, please let me back in the ute, Mum and Dad, please. He keeps jumping on the back but let's go home. He's not real happy about this expedition. Next time we might leave him at home and bring rocks. <laughs> What do you think, Rox? Yeah? She's like the entire chicken. Hold the veggies. Chook's done, hun? Yep. It's nice and cooked. Under the vegetable. Put the pumpkin and carrot in. Yep. Hmm? If we didn't buy any sweet potato. I'm sorry that I forgot your sweet potato, honey.
some little kookaburra friends. Hi, right, Mr. Kookaburra. Want some chicken? Is it good? Yeah? What about you, Mr. Kookaburra? You want some chicken? You want some chicken? The beads for this dream That's all packed up guys, don't forget to leave your campsite better than you found it and put your fire out. Someone's left our little bottle caps here so we can pick them up. Yeah, we had to be very shortly, which is a shame, today looks like the best weather we've had, but you get that. So I had to be going home, honey? Yeah. I'm gonna go home and go back to work. Yeah. Have fun. No, it's a real bummer, isn't it? The dogs are being spoiled because it's still raining as it hasn't stopped too much since we've been here. Well, the same sun came out for a little while, but it's gone again and then it's raining. So they get to ride home in the air. Bye, campsite. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Nice wet weekend away camping. Yeah, we've um, we've had a great weekend, but it did pretty well rain for the entire the time. So we have some muddy and tired puppies that are ready for a bath at home, and we're ready for a shower. Hey, babe. Yep. Go home and get dry and warm, and plan the next one. That's it. As always guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our other socials. We're on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook and we'll be throwing loads of photos up from this weekend. We threw, threw the drone up and got some really cool footage as well as some um, wet and muddy puppies. Yep, don't forget to like and subscribe guys so you don't miss anything and we'll catch, catch us on the next one. Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around a little and we keep track of what's for dinner honey ah uh, whole chooks and three meter flatties no start again <laughs> you